We said before, the capsule's going about 15 or 16 miles per hour. And splash down. That was a big moment. The SpaceX Dragon capsule splashing down off the coast of Florida this morning. The vessel brought NASA's Crew 8 mission members back to Earth after a record-setting and extended 235-day expedition to the International Space Station. For more on this, I'm joined by CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood, who loves this type of stuff as I do. Bill, just help us understand the significance of what is a record-setting length of time in space and why exactly they were up there so long. Well, first of all, you know, we, we're used to talking about how uh, astronauts might spend a year in space or really long durations like that. In this case, we're really talking about the spacecraft, the Crew Dragon spacecraft. It's the longest that spacecraft has ever been in space. And really, if you think about it, if you take the International Space Station out of the equation, it's the longest any U.S. piloted spacecraft uh, has spent in space on a single flight, 235 days. I mean, the significance of it really is just showing NASA and SpaceX uh, the reliability of the vehicle so that they can stay up longer in an emergency, for example, or if they, you know, as, as things come up like on this flight where the crew was delayed by bad weather and a delay getting their replacements launched back in September. So combination of factors, but I think it's, it's a step forward for SpaceX to be able to show their spacecraft can hold up to this uh, for really long periods of time. That's, that's, a, that's a nice milestone. Yeah, and we should note that there are two Boeing Starliner astronauts still at the ISS. When will they get home? And for everyone who co comes back to Earth, what is it like to reacclimatize to what things are like here for us dealing with gravity? Well, if, if you recall, last month they launched the Crew-9 Crew Dragon with just two people on board instead of four. Right. Uh, so Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the two Starliner flyers, they're going to come down in February uh, with that Crew-9 crew. So they're going to end up getting a seriously long flight in space uh, when all is said and done. You know, you mentioned uh, readapting to gravity. When we watch the uh, Crew Dragon um, crew members get off the spacecraft today, they're carried off. And that's despite the fact that every astronaut on the space station spends about two hours a day exercising. They have very sophisticated equipment up there uh, for just that purpose. And even so, after more than six months in space, uh, it takes them about a month to get their land legs back, get their balance back, all of that, and to build their muscles back up. So it's, uh, it's a challenge uh, flying in zero G, no matter how easy it looks and, and how much fun it must be. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the visual of people being carried away. Uh, Bill Harwood, always good to get carried away with you. Thanks for waking up with us. Have a good weekend.